best receiver, you know, you're going to get some targets, you know, get some action. So uh, you just got to be locked in, play by play, you know, you're going to find ways to get him the ball. So uh, you know, I'll be looking forward to it, you know, if that happens. Any surprise to you that the two has kind of gotten into groove there in Miami and, and what makes him such a, a, a good quarterback? Yeah, uh, you know, just uh, doing what they did with him in, in college. You know, he's an RPO guy. That's where he come from. So, you know, they kind of implemented that in his offense. And, uh, you know, it just takes time, you know, to get going in this league, you know, no matter who it is. So I'm not surprised that he got going. Uh, but, you know, we want to put that, you know, to a stop this week. You see any differences between Miami Tua and Alabama Tua when you watch both film? Weapons. The weapons he had in Bama, that's probably the difference, you know. Uh, they still have good receivers in Miami, but I say, you know, he has some great you know, receivers at Bama. That's what they were so dangerous. I think TD was asking about Waddle when I walked up, but what do you remember about him from his days in college? Are you surprised, not surprised he's had the success he's had in the league? Yeah. Like I say, uh, they kind of just using him how they used uh, him in college, you know, uh, giving the ball quick and quick situations. Uh, so I'm not really surprised that, you know, he's a great receiver, you know, he can run the route tree. Uh, so I'm just expecting them to use him a lot of ways. What's he like? I mean, do you communicate with him much in competition? Water. Yeah. Oh, nah, nah, okay. I don't really know him like that. What does it mean for you guys to have a chance to clinch the division on, on Sunday and really take care of your own business? Mm -hmm. uh, it'll mean a lot, you know, uh, to win it back to back. Uh, we just trying to stay focused on one game, you know, even though this one game will, you know, put us in a good position. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's just how we go about it, you know, trying to take it one game at a time. and. Uh, you know, we clinch the division, you know, that'd be big for us, you know, in the future, you know, for the playoffs. It's the toughest level of this defense as you guys have continued to play together and continue to play better? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think we uh, we kind of found our identity and how we want to play. Uh, we've seen what we put on film, you know, how that looks, and we want to keep putting that out there, you know. Uh, we feel like if we run to the ball, we swarm, you know, that intimidates offense, you know. I don't know if y'all noticed, but like, there's been a couple passes the last few games where they're like screens and guys are driving the ball because they feel guys coming. So that's kind of what we want to keep going at, you know, the rest of the year. I think it's supposed to be about 32, 33 degrees on Sunday. You, you guy from the South, you, you looking forward to that or what's that going to be like? Uh, you know, we already, we had some cold games, so I mean, I just got to play through it. You know, I'm not used to it, but you know, it's part of the game. The slipping last week, was that like a equipment issue or? Uh, we didn't see that from yeah, you as much. Either. I know. Uh, I mean, I don't want to put it on that. Uh, I heard we had new turf, but I mean, I just got to be better. You know, it is what it is now. How, how much of a boost did the Jackrabbit play make give you guys on? Thursday, and I think I think maybe it was Mike that credited maybe film study for making that play happen. How much does that happen during the course of the year where you guys are taking what you learn in the classroom and having it play out for you on the field? Uh, a lot. I know a lot of people, you know, rely on what they was on successful plays, and they had a lot of success on that play uh, this past season, so we knew it was coming. Uh, and also, you know, just getting a stop in the red zone. You know, he had no picks in the red zone. Uh, they were pretty. They were like the number one team in the red zone. So. That gave us a big boost, you know, to uh, you know that we can make the plays that we need to make, and you know, just get our offense, you know, a boost anyway, any any, any chance possible.